Good morning. My name is Miss Claire. By day, I am a real worker at the real dentist office. I am actually really going to go work at the dentist office after this. Even though it's a Saturday, and I visited the children who lost their teeth last night. It's only by day that I work and really get the money to be able to be the tooth fairy. And I really do the checkups at the dentist. Did you have a question? Yes. They are. So let me explain. So by day, I'm a real worker at the dental office called being a dental hygienist. So that's my day job. It's only at night with the magic of my toothbrush wand that I'm able to become very, 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 very tiny. And I leap into the nighttime sky. And you have to be sleeping. When you lose your tooth, you go and put it under your pillow. You need to be sleeping. And then I fly into the room. I take the tooth out from under your pillow. And if I have enough money, I leave a $5 bill for your first tooth. Or one. Or one. If I'm very, very busy and had to visit several homes that night, I really only have the ones. But sometimes I have the fives. And after you lose your first tooth, my going rate is a dollar thereafter. A long time ago, we used to only have quarters. <laughs> but now they actually have dollars that are golden. So sometimes at the bank, I can get the golden dollars. So sometimes you may be lucky enough to get the golden coins. The bank didn't have them this week, so I didn't have any to give out. So it's rare that I have. Rarely do I have those. Did you have a question? She has a recorder? Oh, to play music? To play that kind of recorder? A recording a show. She said a red quarter. A red quarter? Oh, I never heard of that. I've never heard of a red quarter. Where is it from? Is it from a different country? Is it from the United States of America? I am just the tooth fairy in the United States of America. I have heard that in France, it, the tooth fairy is a white mouse. So we have different fairies throughout the world. So here in the United States, I am a tooth fairy. I wasn't always the tooth fairy. I had to get older and earn my wings. So when I was a little girl, I lost all 22. Would you like to learn some things about your teeth? Okay. Let's do a survey first. If you remember to brush your teeth last night before you went to bed, put your hands on your head. All right. And if you remember to brush your teeth this morning before you came to the library here in Whitman, put your hands on your shoulders. If you are going to brush your teeth tonight before you go to bed, put your hands on your knees. That should be everyone in this room. And because you are going to get a goodie bag before you leave with the new toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss. And this that will be from dentistry for children, from the nice dentist. They have enough toothpaste and toothbrushes for me to share from self Wayne. And then touch your toes if you've been to the dentist before. Have you been to the dentist before? And then touch your toes if you've been to the dentist before. Very good. Everybody can relax now. We all should go to the dentist two times a year to have them count your teeth. Maybe I could ask one of our twin sisters to come up here and I'll count your teeth. Well, actually, why don't you both come up? Because I am going to dress one of you as though you are a worker. And one of you is going to be the patient. Everybody wants to be the worker. So we're just going to pretend that you work at the dentist. So which sister are you doing? Madison. Madison. So we're gonna put the jacket on Madison. So when I really do work during the day, which I'm about to do, at one o'clock I really will work at the dentist. I'll put the jacket on. And we usually wear pants. We wear we wash our hands a lot and we wear gloves. What color is this glove, everyone? What color is that glove? And then when we work at the dentist, we wear a mask so you get to wear the mask. Yeah, and what is your sister's name? Aubrey. I'm gonna sit Aubrey in the chair. And well actually you can just stay like this. And I'm gonna let you point. Yes, yeah, usually we do, I do sit on the chair, so we'll sit Aubrey in the chair. Oh, these are our wheels, so we'll just be careful that we don't roll away. Have a seat. 
where I'm not going to my chair at work. It has a little bit of wheels. And let's stand to the side. And I'm going to have you point with the magic wand. And we're going to count. Let's see how many teeth on we have. So we'll be, oh, you have your six year molars. So it looks like she might have 23. Oh, actually, she's missing 20 teeth. So let's count to 10 on the bottom and 10 on the top. Shall we all count together? Good idea. Okay, great. Let's count out loud, nice and loudly, everyone. Ready? Count down. Open real big for us, Aubrey. Ready? One, you can point to count two, down. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the top, and eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ten on the bottom. Ten plus ten equals. Equals no. What was the answer, Aubrey? Twenty. Can you say the answer, Madison, with that mask on? Twenty. Right. Did she sound the same? She did. When you go to the dentist, it's a little frightening to see the gloves and the mask and the glasses on the people. It's just to keep you healthy, so you won't get germs from one person to another. So that's what it's like to go to the dentist. You do? Maybe when you grow up, you'd like to be the tooth fairy. Would you like to? That's perfect. I'm go with you. And you will go with me, and we'll deliver the money, and maybe we'll have extra places to go because I'll have two people to do the job, and I won't be as fatigued and tired. That would be wonderful to have a helper. Can everyone clap for Aubrey and Madison? And smile, girls. Beautiful smiles. Now we'll have you, maybe you could just have a seat right here on the two seats right here, or we'll swing over and the way the side, Mom. Now I do have the best stuffed animals with teeth for everyone to play with. If you would like, what we could do is maybe come up front and hand an animal to you and let you brush the animal's teeth. Or we could stay where we are and I'll bring them to you. But you might want to come forward if you could. It might be more fun if everyone comes up front and maybe sits on the rug. We could do it that way. I'll have Aubrey and Madison show the, big, the little girls. One thing I need to make sure you know is please don't put the toothbrush on your teeth. It's the right thing. Brush the dinosaur's teeth, okay? And I'll have Aubrey and Madison show a little bit of what we should be doing. It makes it a little bit easier to look at the big girls and see how they are brushing the animal's teeth. Okay. And we'll sing the best songs about teeth. Have a seat. Have a seat. Good job, Charlotte. Okay. And I have a little one for her, which actually And we'll do the do the and to a dinosaur. Perfect. You're welcome. And we're going to sing the best songs ever. Do we want our little toddler to have one in the back there too? Would she like to do? Here's a cute doggy one. Would she like to come up? She's going to need to get her hands on one too. Here we go. Certainly. That will be fun. They have the same one. And we're going to play... Thank you. Brushing the teeth songs. We're going to sing three songs. Let me get my wand. It helps with my singing voice. Here we are. It really does. And so the first song, if you could repeat what I sing, after I sing it, you'll, you'll understand, right? Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Every day. Every day. Morning, noon, and night. Morning, noon, and night. Keep them shining bright. Keep them shining bright. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Then my second song is my silly song. I think you're going to love it. It goes like this. You brush your teeth up. You brush your teeth down. You brush and brush them all around. No, no, no cavities. No, no, no gum disease. You tell those germs, get out of town. Because do we want to have bad breath? No. 
No. So we should brush the top of our tongue. After we brush our teeth, we should brush the top of our tongue. And we just have to go stick our tongue up and go one, two, three. Just the top of our tongue. And that gets the germs off of the top of your tongue. So after you brush all of your teeth, you brush the top of your tongue. It's a dinosaur. What does the dinosaur say? Wow. Wow. Right, so you open real wide, stick your tongue out, and brush the top of that tongue. Now my third song is a good one also. I think you'll like this song. And it goes like this. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush them every day. Up and down and all around. Keep cavities away. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush them every day. Up and down and all around, keep cavities away. Did you like that song? You knew I'd say that at the end. That's a good song. Did you want to say something or ask something? How much teeth are on the teeth? How many teeth are on them in their mouths? Twenty. Should be ten on the bottom, plus ten on the top. Although, when you have all of your grown up teeth, it will be. 12 on the bottom and 12 on the top, making 24 when you get your 6 year molars. And then there'll be 20 teeth when you get your 12 year molars. And if you have room for your wisdom teeth, there are already two. So they have their wisdom teeth in there. You know, I actually don't believe I counted their teeth, but they must have their wisdom teeth too. If they have 32, they have the 16 on the bottom plus the 16 on the top. Fabulous job. Would everybody like to stand up with their stuffed animal and sing the songs with me? Everybody want to stand up with their animal? And we'll sing the songs. Do you want to come up front and sing? Do you want to come up with the girls up front? Okay. And we'll go, let's do the, let's do the, the really fun one with the good stretching. So bring your arms up and you brush your teeth up. So go up on tippy toes. You brush your teeth down, touch the ground, and then come up and turn around. You brush them, brush them all around. <laughs> now put up your brush and shake your head now. No, no, no cavities. No, put up your other, your brush in your other hand, shake your head now. No, no, no gum disease. And put your hands on your knees. You tell those germs. Get out of town. Would you like to do it faster? All right, why don't we put our stuffed animals down. You can hold your brush, but put your animal on the floor. Ready? We'll do it more quickly. Put your animal on the floor. Put your dragon on the floor. And then we'll do the, the song faster. Ready? Okay. You brush your teeth up. You brush your teeth down. You brush and brush them all around. No, no, no cavities. No, no, no gum disease. You tell those germs, get out of town. And brush, brush, brush your teeth. Brush them every day. Up and down and all around. Keep cavities away. Brush, brush, brush your life, teeth. Up, brush them every day. Up and down and all around, keep cavities away. Fabulous job. What's everyone going to do tonight? Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, right? Let's oh. clap three times. Let's say brush book bed. We are at the library, right? Oh, yeah. I love the library. And I love reading. I would love it if you would do this every night. Oh, yeah. Clap three times so we can put the animals down. I'll put the brush down. Clap three times and say brush book bed. Brush book bed. Brush book bed. One more time. Brush book bed. So tonight, I would love it if everybody would get a book at the library before they leave today. It doesn't have to be about your teeth, but it could be. It would make. I'd love to see you do that. But it should be a book that you like, and then brush your teeth at bedtime. You're all going to get a goodie bag from dentistry for children in South Wayne. So I'll get those to you soon. You're going to get a book. And you're going to go to bed. And that way you'll have sweet dreams, you'll have beautiful teeth, and you'll have restful sleep if you read at bedtime. And you'll learn new words. If your parents are busy, you can just turn the pages and start learning to read on your own, too. So that's fine, too. But we should always try to have nice, healthy teeth by brushing at bedtime. And what's the best drink for our teeth? Does anyone know? What should we drink only, especially at bedtime? Water. Water, right. There's no sugar in water. 
So sugary things, how about if we had just had something sugary, like how America runs on Dunkin' and has yeah. Dunkin' Donuts and we eat the munchkins, would this clean our teeth? No. Well, yeah. after a donut, it might clean. Yeah, it might help to clean. So what is this? Is this a banana or an apple? Apple. Apple. Is ap are apples good for our teeth? Yes. Yes, they are. So when we eat apples, drink lots of water, it's good for our brain, it gives us good energy for learning in school, and it doesn't make a mess. Whereas if we have a sticky donut or fruit snacks, they're sticky, chewy on our teeth, not so good for our teeth. So can everybody clap? Yay! And everyone smile, show me a beautiful smile. Let me see all those beautiful smiles. Very nice smiles. Beautiful teeth, let's see you smiling. Nice teeth, beautiful. Nice teeth, beautiful, beautiful smile. Adorable. Love it. So everyone has beautiful teeth. Why are our teeth so important? I'm gonna ask the older girls because you might know the answer. Why are our teeth so important? What do we do with our teeth? If you don't have teeth, you won't be able to chew them. That's right. And how about the sounds that you're making now that you're missing your two upper front teeth? Say the word spoon. Spoon. Maybe things with an S might sound a little bit different while you're missing your teeth right now. How about, uh, let's see. Well, basically, you, you did sound the same, I think, today with saying the word spoon. How about brush? Brush. Brush. That might sound a little bit different too. But our teeth help us to make our words when we speak. They help us to smile and feel good about how we look and to eat the foods that we love to eat. So everyone's going to get a good, nice new toothbrush. And I think we covered everything that I have on my table that we'd like to talk about. Now what we could do is everyone could line up one at a time. I have a table with toothbrush goodie bags. If you'd like to put your animal back up on the table, go right ahead. Give your animal over here. That's my money for being the tooth fairy tonight. I'm ready to. If I if I have enough, sometimes I have only the ones. I may have it, but that was for your first tooth usually. That's my going rate for the first tooth. It's usually one dollar thereafter. So you will have a visit twenty times. I'll come visit. What do you do with the teeth? That's a great question. What do I do with the teeth? I use the teeth to make jewelry, beautiful earrings and things. I also use the teeth for my walls. Well, I live in a castle, so I have wa a wa my walls and my bridges. We bring the teeth to the dental office and clean them, and then we use them for my walls and my bridges and my castle. Why can't you be the tooth fairy in the morning and you get your I can't fly. My wings only work at night when it's nighttime. The children have to be sleeping. I can't fly during the day. I have all of my ability to fly and to be tiny is gone when it becomes the morning. So as soon as the sun rises, I need to make sure I'm home. Can you feel your wings? You can. Mm -hmm. You yeah. sure can. Oh, do you want to touch your gentle? And if anybody else wants to do a picture, I think we did some pictures already with everyone that wanted one. Fabulous. Did you want to? You can. It's quite all right. Yes. And I'm used to touching people's teeth, so I will do that pretty soon when I go to the dentist. I'll use the tickly toothbrush. I'll look at the teeth with the mirror. Did you want to do a picture? Sure. Let me get my wand, and we'll pose for a beautiful picture with the tooth fairy. You want to show me? Smile. Nice. Beautiful smile. I, you know I want to give you all a special wish. I hope you have no cavities, no gum disease. I hope you remember to do a brush, book, bed, and I hope you all drink lots of water and the real fruits like the watermelon and the apples instead of the fruit snacks. And you'll have beautiful teeth. Let's all end with the magic words. I love to hear magic words. Doors will open as if they have keys if you say thank you and if you say please. So on the count of three, I'd love to hear a wonderful Whitman Library thank you. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. So I'm, I'm going to have you we'll wait patiently. We may do the youngest children first, and I'll get some goodie bag things ready over here. And that way we'll line up over here. And I'll maybe if you don't have to be somewhere right away, we'll get our little bags ready. And I have 
stickers, and I have all kinds of things. I do have some toddler toothbrushes that are adorable, that are just great for the two, the two little ones that are here, the really little ones. They have toddler brushes. So I have those. And so why don't I start with the, um, the younger girls? I'll give her a regular brush for you to brush her teeth. And then a little um, a toddler one that she could hold. Sometimes when they're toddlers, they want to take control. And so if you have something in their hands, you put the brush in her hands, and then you use the toothbrush, and you can brush their teeth. That way you've got her hands busy. And if anyone needs any instructions on brushing, um, we'll go over that. I'll show some strategies of how to do that. And he has a cute little sticker. There's a little sticker. Friend, did you just come from dancing lessons? Oh, oh, perfect. We ju we'll sing some more songs and we'll do that with you. All right. Would you like to be next and come out and pick out? And you have your little sister. So I'm going to give you a bag like this. Okay. And I can have you get a toothbrush. I have red. Let's see what colors do I have. I have that one's the older children, I think. I have yellow with purple or a red for you. Which do you like? The red one? Okay. You put that in your bag. And then I have that little one for your little sister right here, the little toddler brush for her. I'm going to put just an extra one so Mommy can brush her teeth and keep her hands busy. And that's for you. Okay. Let me get you an extra couple of stickers for you and your sister.